Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Auntie Nell's Kitchen, where everything made uh, comes out of this kitchen is made from my heart and my soul. And today, I'm going to share with, share with you one of my friends and family favorites when I have my I host my breakfast and lunch for my closest family and friends. It's Auntie's Maple Brown Sugar Bacon. And I'm going to share this with you so hopefully you, your family and friends will love it just as much as they do and so we're going to get started with everything that we need with everything that you need so you can make this and bring out that happiness as well hold on a moment we'll get started and we'll get cooking presenting the star of the show you would need one pound of one pack of thick sliced bacon cold bacon the reason do not use room temperature bacon for two reasons one safety because you use a room temperature bacon you run the risk of bacteria safety 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 and cold bacon is much more easier to work with now you can use turkey bacon i eat turkey bacon so if i was going to um eat this i would use turkey bacon for myself um, and also, if you're serving, if you're also going to use turkey bacon and um, pork bacon, because you're making this for people who don't eat pork, I'll double the rest, double this recipe, and do dip your turkey bacon first, or put you use, use this recipe and put it in a separate bowl for your turkey bacon. Okay, you're going to need one half cup of dark brown sugar. Now, for those of you, my fellow diabetics and deaf, you know, my little pump, pump, love pump wares. Now, if you, you can substitute one half cup of this uh, Splenda Brown Sugar Blend. It, this is what I would use in mine. Now, there's no, I haven't seen any uh, sugar-free maple syrup. You're going to need one fourth cup of maple syrup you'll need one teaspoon of cinnamon three tablespoons of water one teaspoon of ground black pepper or you can use coarse black pepper now you want to add a little kick to it you can substitute the teaspoon of black pepper for a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or for a, or you want a higher kick, add one tablespoon of uh, what they call, red pepper flakes. Now, you want to add a little, a little uh, extra kick to it. You know what I have done. I've added a half a, um, a teaspoon of bourbon to it gave it a little you know that's something that you know usually that reserved for like a christmas brunch and a little bourbon to it okay what we're going to do we're going to start off with put your sugar in your bowl you're going to add your cinnamon your black pepper. I'm going to add my two teaspoons of water. I mean, three tablespoons of water. And my maple syrup. The reason why my ma this maple syrup came out so easy, what I did, I took a little oil, just to, just two drops of uh, oil, and I uh, took a paper towel and ran it around this cup so that syrup, with all that maple goodness would come out. And the only thing you're going to do is get your handy dandy spoon and you mash it up. And mix well, guys. Mix well. Mix very well. Mix well. Mix well. Mix this very well. And I'll be right back and move the bacon over here so we can get started in this workspace all right 
I have my oven is already preheated to 350. So there's no need to spray this because bacon has grease in it. Got my bowl with all this goodness, this mixture in it. So what I'm going to do is take my bacon and I'm going to dump it in here in this mixture. And you'll see this goodness come out of here. It's okay if I put this on here. And you see that? Look at that. And all you do is lay it down. Lay each piece down on this baking sheet. This all I'm going to do is lay it down on the baking sheet. I'm going to do another piece. And what you're doing, you want to make sure each, each is covered. It smells so good. You can just smell that make, maple and brown sugar. Make, let your bacon touch. It's, you can let your bacon touch. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. And I'm going to uh, take these off so I can touch my lens. And I'll return... Did you guys see to see what I was doing? If not, I'm gonna have to go through. You know what? You guys didn't get to see what Mother was doing. So remember what I said, guys. I don't uh, do retakes. I just keep rolling. So I'm just gonna just go. Bear with me. You take your bacon. Ugh. You know how I, I am about that meat touching guy. Dumping in your uh, goodness. That's all you do. Make sure it's covered. Let it drip off. Let that drip off. And back into that. And what you're going to do, you're going to lay it down on your baking sheet. And see all that goodness? You can just smell that maple. I'm going to wash my hands off real quick so I can touch my camera lens. Okay, I'm going to get all these saturated, all this bacon saturated on the baking sheet, and we'll go from there. All right. Got, my, got the bacon all nice and candy down, as you can see. So we're going to pop this into the oven. And it should be about 30 minutes, and um, we'll get halfway through, and I'll bring it out and let you see how it's going. So, see you guys in a little bit. Guys, the, the bacon is out, so I brought it out. I'm going to turn it over. Turn it over. And I'm going to put it in the oven for about another, uh, probably about... 10 minutes and it, it'll be all done. And I'll be bringing this, you see, all that syrupy goodness in there. We're on there. I'm gonna bring, bring it closer to the um, camera so you can see it. So it's been in the oven about 20 minutes. going back into the oven for just just 10 more minutes and I shall return welcome back my friends so our maple brown sugar bacon is all done it took 30 minutes to cook this and I'm going to get this in this dish I'm going to layer the first bottom layer and I'll show you how I um, store this until it's ready to serve. It's really best served ASAP but you can always it, it if you were serving for a dish it wouldn't you know wouldn't be any reheated because they would just gobble it all up look at there and so what I'm going to do show you how I store this I take this I make my first line of uh, foil usually. Take a little parchment paper. 
Then I add my other strips on, on top of this. I had and that broke. That's okay. You'll still gobble it up. Look at all that ooey gooey goodness. All of that ooey gooeyness. You just smell all that maple and that the brown sugar goodness. And this is why you used to fall, my friends. This is why you used to fall. And here we are. The maple brown sugar bacon. Auntie knows. So this is it and what I would do I will take another I will cover this with the top and be ready to go with uh, the main course because this is a side item so until the next recipe one second guys Put my glasses back up so thanks for tuning in and um I hope you enjoy that recipe of Auntie's Maple Brown Sugar Bacon. And to the next time, we're together again working on another great recipe of Auntie's. Be you, and, but be great at being you. Bye.